I mean, the structure of the school is a generalist teacher partnered with an advocate counselor. The advocate counselor is essentially a social worker, um, sort of so social work functions, but partners with the teacher to help the teacher to understand what are the, what the DOE calls social and emotional aspects, for whatever the word, um, of a student. And the teacher delivers the academic need of the student. But they're in constant communication, the same way in the structure is all the way down from Manti all the way down. The counselors and the generalist teachers, but also the team bringing in the specialist teachers, each one meets on a regular cycle. And then the, the generalist and advocate counselors meet with me and tie together to bring things to the surface that might be going on or to add just both perspectives as to what's going on in a room or going on concerning a student. Um, we do spend time working through the partnership. It's a lot of work to maintain that. It's an intense relationship in the room. To have an advocate counselor mostly in the room for four hours with that generalist teacher is a very big demand on a relationship process. Um, and I think that we do everything we can to support that. They do have differences. They come from different perspectives. That needs to be aired, that needs to be discussed, that needs to be worked through because the classroom is not just an academic classroom. It, it belongs, belongs. It belongs to both of them. And they need to be able to like work through differences, same as any other relationship in the world. But this one does become fairly intense because it is usually somewhat four hours a day. It involves a lot of trust. It involves a lot of communication. Um, and it, a lot, it involves a lot of respect for the fact that the two entities come from different perspectives and see different ways of moving people.